So this is in the book of Job, uh, the 30th chapter and the first verse. It says, but now they that are younger than I, but now they that are younger than I have me in derision. Okay? The word doesn't mean to be in a position of derision. They, they got you in a, in, a, in a place of, you know, you don't, it, it, ain't, it ain't a nice place, man. Okay? It says, whose fathers I would have the same to have set the dogs of my flock. Right, yea, whereunto might, might the strength of my hands profit me, in whom all age perished. Okay, for want of famine they were solitary, fleeing into the wilderness. Right, uh, in a former time, desolate, desolate and waste, who cut up mallows for their bushes and juniper roots for their meat. Okay, so when, you know, Esau, when he was out there, man, okay, you know, Esau, uh, 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 for a period of time was kicked out there into the caves, man. Okay? Alright, in fact, the scripture is going to say here that he was considered a, a, a base animal, man. They were children of fools, man. Okay? But now the most I set up the basis of, of, of people, basically, to, 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 um, to be in rulership. Alright? It says, to dwell in the, uh, um, and they were driven forth from among men. They cried after them as after a thief. To dwell in the clefts of the rock, in the caves, and they're in the rocks, and among the bushes they braid under the nettles. Alright? And it says, and they gathered together, and it says, they were children of, of fools, yea, children of base men. They were violent in the earth, and now I'm their song, I am their, by, I'm their byword. Okay? So the most I set it up to where now, now, you know, Jacob was like the byword of this Negro, these uh, Edomites, man. Alright? Uh, um, it says, they are born me, they flee far from me, and spare not to uh, spit in my face, because thou hast loosened the cords and afflicted me. Alright, and, and, and we're like an all unto like, like Job right now, man. Okay? We're in that lowest state. The most high has brought us to, unto that lowest state right now, man. Okay? So it says here, and upon my right hand I was uh, uh, so the pretty much the point was was was, was it on that. So back to um Second Ezra, the sixth chapter. It says, and as for the other people which also come with Adam, they all said they are nothing but like unto spill, and as like in the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. Alright? And it says, And now, O Lord, behold, these heathens which have ever been reputed as being nothing, right, have begun to be lords over us and to devour us. And we thy people whom thou hast called thy firstborn, that only begotten thy fervent lover, are given into their hands. So the Most High has given us into the hands of these, uh, 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 of this, uh, 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 um, into the hands of these people, man. He's given us into the hands of the heathen, man. Okay, but but as we're gonna see, as we're gonna see in the book of um, uh, Joel, the third chapter, okay, pretty much the Most High is turning the, the captivity of Judah again now, man. Okay. He's trying. To, he's bringing up, bringing again the captivity of, of Judah and Jerusalem to what end? To the end that these these different these these heathens are going to be in slavery and we're going to be in All right. He says, um, "But we, thy people, whom thou hast called thy firstborn." Uh, that only begotten, thy fervent lover, are given into their hands. And if the world now be made for our sakes, why do we not possess an inheritance? Oh, because we are from the Lord's that's commandments of the Most High, man. Okay? Why don't we possess an inheritance, all right, in the world? And how long shall this endure? And it was going to endure up until this point here within the book of Joel. Joel all right? It's Joel, the third chapter. And I will stop from the top. It says, For behold, in those days, and in that time, when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem, I will also gather all nations and bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat and plead with them there for my people and for my heritage Israel. So, the Lord taking all of these people out there into the, into the Middle East, well, he's doing that to plead for his people, the Negroes, the Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. Okay? That ain't no accident that all of these people are going down there into, uh, 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 um, into the Middle East, man. Okay? That's a whole, uh, a whole, that's been orchestrated by the Most High. Now you got to wait. Esau, he thinks that he's been, he's pulling the strings. And he believes that he's pulling the strings on either side. Okay, but pretty much, the Most High is setting all of that up, man. Okay, 
And that's gonna happen. That's gonna. It's gonna happen to where what the, the, the prophecy where the scriptures talk about the uh, mountain of the troops. That's gonna be a fulfillment of the mountain of the troops, man. Because why? Because they put Negroes and Spanish Native Americans in captivity, man. And it's so doing that that, they, that that captivity is gonna have to be overturned, man. Okay. The scriptures talking about breaking the teeth of the young lions. Well, the teeth is what they're military. Okay. Because you talk, you're talking about uh, 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 these nations being likened unto beasts and animals. What's going to be the teeth of these different animals, man? It's going to be the military because that's going to be doing the devouring, man. The devouring of flesh. Okay? Back within the book of Joel, the third chapter, it says, For behold, in those days, and in that time shall I bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem. And I will also gather all nations, and will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat. And I will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage Israel, whom they have scattered amongst, uh, 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 whom they scattered amongst the nations and part of my land. Okay, so let me get back onto uh, uh, um, the topic. So, um, Revelation is the 13th chapter, um, and the 16th verse, and it says here, because I was bringing out this article, okay, it says, uh, I'll start from the 15th verse, and it says, and, um, no, I was in the Revelation, the 18th chapter, let's finish off, let's finish off, uh, 18, and I'll go back to 13, okay, it says, Revelation 18 and, uh, 12, and it says, the merchandise of, uh, 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 I'll start from 11. It says, and the merchants of earth shall weep over her, for uh, no man buyeth her merchandise anymore. And it says, and the merchants of, uh, mer merchandise of gold and silver and precious stones and pearls, and fine linen and purple and silk and scarlet and fine wood, and all manner of vessels of ivory and all manner of vessels of precious wood, and old brass and iron and marble, right? So the point is here within the 13th verse, where it says there, um, and cinnamon, and odors, and ointment, and frankincense, and wine, and oil, and fine flour, and wheat, and beasts, and sheep, and horses, and chariots, and slaves, and the soul, and the souls of men. Okay, because that was saying basically, hey man, Israel's got all of these different nations in slavery, man. Okay, and that was, uh, Babylon was the place where Esau was, uh, uh, basically sells all of these different nations, man. All right, now we like I was uh, made. I made the examples. You go into you know a, a, a bond sales and all of that. That's all. The, that's a that's a fulfillment of what the scripture says there uh, 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 of the uh, you know of the merchandise of the souls of men. Because Esau was out there selling the souls of diff different individuals. Now, now you're you know now you know you start off with you know I don't know a hundred k in in in, in 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 whatever in terms because you bought a house or whatever nonsense. Okay, now you're gonna pay that back to some somebody way out there in a in a dip, in a completely different on a completely different continent. Why? Because you no, know, just going back onto 2008 when they had these subprime loans and so on and so forth. Well, they were you know they were complementing all of them different loans. Okay, the, you know, the good investment, the bad investment, all of those different loans. Okay, uh, uh, all of that debt. They were bringing it all together into one package and then they were selling it all over the place, man. Because that's how the stock market works, man. Okay? That's how it's still, that's how, that's how the, uh, them different uh, investment bankers work, man. You buy a certain asset on the, uh, on the, on the stock market, all right? And then it gets sold off, you know, you, you, you sell it off within the hope of making a greater return than you paid it for. That's how, that's all, that's all it is, okay? And that's what was happening back out down there, out, out there in 2008. You had it to where different individuals were buying, you know, uh, or investing in something that they thought was, uh, you know, uh, uh, substantial. But really, it was, you know, it had, uh, 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 um, it was packaged with something that wasn't substantial. Okay, and then they got get sold off out there into into um, into a completely different continent, man. All right, but that all goes to prove this piece up here where it was talking about. Um, in the thirteenth verse, right, of cinnamon, of odors and ointment, and frankincense, and wine, and fine flour, and wheat, right, and beasts, and sheep, and horses, and chariots, slaves, and souls, and the souls, or uh, and the souls of men. All right.
Right, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna pretty much pause the video until uh, that noise stops in it. All right, so I can get this uh, this word out. Okay. All right, so I'll be back in you know hopefully short shortly. All right, slow one.